Earth signs. I can't remember. I did some last week, but I don't know who I did. So I'm just going to do it again. So this is for Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Okay. This could be dealing with um, work for some of y'all. So let's see. What messages do you have for my Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo collective? Y'all, these readings are for entertainment purposes only. So don't make anything fit. And don't put anyone above your own intuition. Okay? I can do my please protect me as I channel this energy. We're going to start my red oracle deck. Now, this can be in any area of your life. But for some of it's going to be at work. Not just work, like career. There's a difference, child. Okay. Spirit, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. What's going on? Okay, so we have chopped wood. That's eight of pentacles. That's work. Okay. Um, some of you guys, uh, 42 breaking down to a six. Some of you guys are entering something. I said this the other day with those big steel doors. Um, the divine is opening doors that can't nobody close. Okay. Now with that broom right there, now see this is for Virgo specifically. You might want to be mindful like how you look 144 on the phone. How you look out in the public. Because like, if you want people to take you serious. Because you never know who you run into, child. So you just want to dress for success. <laughs> okay. Since we're on the phone. So what else, spirit? But I feel like this thing is hard to get into. Them steel heavy doors. Whatever this is. It's hard. Maybe two, two, two on the phone. Maybe there's a lot of competition, or you have to have a lot of experience, or you have to have a lot of schooling. I just feel like it's hard to get into, but spirit is making a way, child. And once you're in there, you're in there. Some of you might be grandfathered in. I don't even know if they do that no more. But you might be grandfathered into this thing. For some of you, it has something to do with, like, board members I'm getting the doorman what else do you read? and then some of you y'all know the movie um, Princess and the Frog when she got that, that restaurant bill and she had to clean it out that pail some of you guys may be renovating a building. You might be buying your own restaurant or whatever. Could be, could be gifted to you. <laughs> In that movie, he was getting ready to marry that other girl, but she he made her promise that she would give the money to Tiana so she could go after her dreams. So I don't know. This is Earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Eight of Pentacles, chopped wood. I'm also getting that, you know, it's kind of like the Seven of Pentacles and Knight of Pentacles. Whatever you've been working at for a long time, maybe you've been trying to break into something, break into something. Now it's, it's ripe. You're going to get in it. Okay. Time to go, baby. Hey, baby. <laughs> Some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius with these stars right here. Some of you will be dealing with celebrities. Whatever this is. Some of you will be dealing with celebrities. So, wow. Okay, let's get one more. Here and now. Here and now. Uh -huh. I promise. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Royal hearts at the bottom of the day. King and queen. Two people got the keys to something. So, with this, someone could be Catholic. 
Okay. Room. Mm. Anyway. Now, with this time to go, it's taking me back. I literally just said this in my last reading. That someone was being called to do some, um, I don't want to say preaching, but something like that. And they had like, been blocking it. But they, that's what they are being called to do. Something with the religious churches and stuff like that. Okay, so let's let's pull my life purpose eggs. This, this is around work, the chop wood, and this I feel like it's different from what you did in the past, but it's part of your future. But it did take a lot of you know that everybody said we got people had that come to Jesus moment. I feel like with this uh, here and now card, you could be. You're sitting above it, right? You could have been going over the things that you've been through in the past, uh, trying to figure out where you're going. This thing that's been calling you to do some of you guys could have been a, a scared is not a word. <laughs> you could have been afraid of it or just like, no, that's not for me. Um, I don't know, child, but I do feel like this is hard to get into whatever it was. But it is part of your future. And I do think it was different from where you have been. Totally different from where you've been. Okay. It's like night and day. This thing that you're going into is like night and day from what you... And you may even get... I don't know why I'm getting it like criticized. Because it's kind of like... And don't take this the wrong way. I'm just giving y'all an example. But it's kind of like someone who used to be a stripper. doing speeches at church. People might try to judge you on your past. But you're sitting, because that look like a confessional right there. You're sitting with the divine, and I feel like you have made peace with your past. And it's okay for you to move forward towards this. You're literally getting pushed toward it. Why the car says it's time to go now. It's, it's go time. Okay? Alright, so Scapcorn, Taurus, Virgo Like a gang member becoming a preacher Totally different But you got the life experiences, man You got testimony after testimony after testimony Who better to be up there doing it? Hello? What he say? He didn't come to heal the He came to get the seed That's what to say now The most high choose who, the, who they want to touch who they want to pull up by that thing. So I don't know, you know, who this is for. Just take it for resonating if you don't leave it for the next person. Support. Your life purpose fully supports you. That's gonna be your testimony after testimony after testimony. Then you have nutrition. You conduct healing work through culinary skills. Now, those of you who could be working for um, celebrities, maybe that's what you're doing. I, I don't know, child. <coughs> One more. Spirit. Whatever it is, it's a calling. And somebody been... <laughs> I don't know if you were dodging it or maybe you thought that how would I ever get into this? It's so hard to get into. Or you have to go to school all these many years. For some of you, you're going to be getting grandfathered into it. So you may not have the educational experience. But you've got some type of life experience. Or something like that. And for some of you, there's some type of board. Okay. Study. Reading, research, and education helps you gain confidence and clarity about your career. Okay. Bottom of the deck, freedom. Uh, you're free to, you're free to do what you choose. 
Okay, so let's break this in. Reading, research, and education helps you gain confidence and clarity about your career. I really just see a person like, you know, on Sunday before, before they get up to preach, they got to study over what they're going to read. They go over it. Or they may have to go back and reference this, that, and the third. I'm getting that too off this reading, research, and education. Not going to be for everybody. Go. Can't wait no more. It's time to go. Okay, so what do we need to see? What do we need to see right here for Earth, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo? The Eight of Swords. This is being stuck mentally. But they're not really stuck. They appear to be stuck. I'm also getting something drying up. Where you at? <coughs> and it's time to go. Whatever it may be, you know. Maybe it's time for you to go out and bitch on your own, become an entrepreneur. Or it's time to go and do what you have been called to do. Wherever you are, it's, it is drying up. Okay? But some of you guys may feel like you your hands are tied in the situation. They're really not. Okay, there's a ribbon around her, him or her. One tug and the whole ribbon going to come undone. Undone. She'll be able to see. She'll be able to freely move her hands, move her feet. Okay? Someone has a lot of sage wisdom. Even this man is uh, depicted. Look at the hairline. You don't get no hairline like that unless your ass done read plenty of books, child. Or got plenty of wisdom. The gray hair is reminding me of someone who is wise. This is kind of like a hermit. And this hermit has a key around his neck. Now, I said up here with these two loyal hearts, they got a key. You see those two keys up there? They got the keys to something. Well, it's the same thing here. Maybe someone feels like you're the key to something. Or it can just be saying, reading, research, and education is the key to you. Do There's, half of this book is a computer, and half of it is a book. But I feel like somebody does have sage wisdom. So it kind of reminds me, especially with this nutrition right here, this lady, I watched her on uh, YouTube. Her name, she's passed away now. But her name was Emma Dupree. And you see how this woman is here with all these different herbs and things. People would get sick. <coughs> and they would call her. She would know what herb. See, the Most High had instilled certain things in her. And it worked. She would give it to these people and they would take it and it would work. So that's what I'm getting with the aisle. I know I'm not saying it right. With the owl, there's something that was already instilled in you. You already have the key to something. Okay? What else are my earth signs? Please and thank you. Yeah, some of y'all will be working with celebrities. Four wands. Some of you guys may be moving. Some of you guys may be getting married. Some of you guys may be starting your own businesses. Um, it's stability, whatever this is. You're headed towards stability. <coughs> Confirmation, child. You're headed towards stability now. These two people, they happy. The kids happy. This is like Ten of Cups. Now, that's a big-ass castle behind it. Could be a mega church, too. Take out resonate. What else, spirit? Could be a college. That building could be a college, could be a church, could be a home, could be a castle. I don't know. It's big. 
King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles could be a husband, could be a business owner, or it could be someone who's materialistic. But I feel like what this is saying is you could become very stable and you could become the King of Pentacles if you follow your, if you go on and do whatever this is. And then here and now, it's time to go forward. It's time to go for it, child. Maybe you at home always trying different recipes, and now it's time to put that shit out there. Hmm? Maybe you at home always doing art, drawing for play play. My friend I went and visit about a week ago. When I tell you this man, his attention to detail, he's an artist. That's not what he do for a living, working at Dollar General. But the man's so smooth with the pen. You hear me? And he got all his art in his room. Nobody else knows. Put it out there. Only his closest friends know that he's an artist. A real artist. You know how people I can draw and draw stick figures. No, this man is something serious. And he in his 60s. Okay? What's this? Five of Pentacles. Someone, I, don't, I keep getting this part. You see how, okay, that's the stained glass of a church. They've been outside the church, out in the cold. Somebody's getting called in it. It ain't for everybody, but somebody is. Somebody also could be getting called to go and start their own. Whatever they're going to is... It's going to bring them to, to the King of Pentacles for a The world. Some of you will be known for this. With this world card. I'm, I'm getting international with the world. Known all over the world. Known. Maybe there's a lot of travel involved with this. Maybe you got to travel all across the damn world. I don't know, child. What other deck? Can this pull this purple deck? Spear, what else is going on for my earth signs? Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. My Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgos. Somebody's going to be... Somebody's going to be world-renowned. I think this King of Pentacles is world-renowned. King of Pentacles to the world. Either is or will be. Hello. Baby. What else do you hear? Navigating by the stars. Follow your bliss. That's the same as this. You see how these, there's something with stars. You really might be working with celebrities. Or some of you guys could be studying the stars. Maybe that maybe that's hard to get into. I don't know. <laughs> Miracles. Like I say, the most high opening the doors. They ain't gonna be able to close these doors. Miracles, child. Expect the wonders to emerge. And uh that's them same buildings. Them Aladdin buildings. I don't know what part of the world that is. And on this surrender to the journey, that's you surrender to your calling. That same owl, owl, the same owl right there over your shoulder giving you this wisdom, sage, knowledge, or whatever. That's the same owl in this tree. You're being guided. There's things happening to you at night. These heavy clothes that you have on, that is your protection. But this card is saying, release control. Because I feel like somebody was trying to block what they were being called to do. What else here? That could be something with YouTube. I just got a YouTube notification. What else is going on? 
Thank you. You're reaching your destination. Your light is shining brightly. Um, there was some type of transformations that took place. And you're going up in levels. Could be three main levels. There's another castle right there. Yeah, this is something with a church. A song. Rainbow of blessings showering your life, child. And if you look at all these cards, the path is narrow. And on each side of the path is uh, mountains, which I view as obstacles. But it's kind of like treading thoughtfully. Be mindful of... Did I tell y'all at the beginning to be mindful of how you look when you go out? So I'm going to also say be mindful of who you associate yourself with. Because whatever you're walking into, it is hard to get into. This is your calling. But just know people will try to come back. Um, like for those of you who are going to be working with celebrities, child, people be trying to. They might have a, a picture of you shitting behind the building. Oh, this was the earth sign before they got famous. Or, you know, something like that. So just be mindful. Start thinking that way now. Okay, let's pull some in. Mm. Let's feel thin. I guess that's all of them. What do we need to see right here? For my earth sign. This is not all these cards that feel so thin. Fear. Some of y'all could be scared of this power. I knew that dick felt slim, <laughs> baby. But anyway, we got what we needed. Fear. I realized that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. That can also be that eight of swords. Some of y'all are scared of what y'all are being called to do. I don't know why. Maybe you're scared you're not enough. Scared. The spirit is opening. I want you to see. Look at these doors. How heavy they are. That could be the symbolic of it's hard to get into. Or the impossible. I don't know. But we saw that um, miracles card. Spirits working on your behalf. All you got to do is just follow through. Release the fear and follow through. Release not only the... Because when we get fearful, we try to control the outcome. Uh -huh. No, you can't do that right here, baby. Whoever this is. Just got to go with the flow and go. You're literally being pushed. Usher. Somebody could be an usher. You're being ushered in, pushed into something, to this door right here. Now, what I just got with that. Somebody could have, um, like you in this dimension. We ain't gonna go there. But let's pull these green cards at the money cards and see what come out. Now, this person with the key, they may want to, if that's not you, that may be someone who wants to take you under their wings, their wings. They may want to take you up under their wing. This person is older. They devote themselves to serving the most high. I forgot what you call it. It's not a nun. But it's something like that.
Others may be envying your success right now because it's going, I'm telling you, it's going to, the four of wands is stability, the king of pentacles, it, that's just what it is. Okay, what's this? Angelic help, I say spirit is opening the doors. This is time for you to trust in the universe and know that you will be provided for. There's a career or a blessing lining up for you to stay positive and believe. Angelic help. So, you know, whatever this is you're getting into, there may be people who uh, wanted to get in here for a very long time, or maybe they had to go through the different levels of schooling, and then here you just pop up. It's not fair. I don't know. But some type of angelic help, and I feel like it's because this is something that you're supposed to do. Don't worry about the envy, it'll be all right. <coughs> we had unfulfilled. And there's a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. Consider a career. This man standing at the podium. That's Somebody's calling right here. Consider a career in coaching, speaking, lobbying, activism, or mentoring. Now, this kind of reminds me of like an ex-gang member. Standing up, giving speeches. But y'all take it how it resonates. There's a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. And someone with that world card will be known all over the world. For some of y'all, this is international type of stuff. It's huge. This is why you got angelic help. Okay? So, the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. I literally just said like five minutes ago. Be mindful of the company that you keep. Now you have unfulfilled. So that's on that eight of swords. Because, and that five of pentacles. I feel like somebody could be, um, maybe you're unfulfilled where you currently are, but you're scared of, of what's on the other side of that door. Anything else? Somebody could be in magazines. With that nutrition, somebody could have a cooking show or something like that. Maybe you're getting into entertainment and maybe it's hard to get into that. I don't know. Setbacks. So, your attempts to increase your income have been largely unsuccessful. And it could be because maybe you're not where you're supposed to be and or... Maybe you need to study some more. Or, I feel like this is something else you're getting into. That's what I feel. But y'all take it how it resonates, okay? Anything else? And these people that sitting here listening to this man, they are interested. Some of y'all might become teachers. They're interested. They got books. They got their bottle of water to let you know they're going to be there for a while. Some of y'all might have a teaching position. Or speakers or whatever, but these people that are sitting, they they're interested. Some of y'all might do case studies, or I don't know. Anything else? This man got on like what to me appears to be like culinary outfit. And he might have some setbacks. Right? Maybe he needed to move five of pentacles to the four of wands. Maybe he needed to move, or maybe he needed to get his uh his recipes out there. I don't know, child. Or maybe he needed to partner with someone. It's gonna be different for everybody. But the time is now. Y'all already unfulfilled. For who's resonating with this, where you are right now, you, you unfulfilled. Remember I said at the beginning, I said career and work, uh, a job and a career. I said there's a difference. A new job of some kind is coming your way, child. Listen to your girl now. Baby, comfort. What I said, it going to bring stability. You might turn into the king of pentacles. You're about to end the most comfortable period of your life. 
Hello? And now you got spirituality right here. So some of you guys may be called to become a spiritual advisor. What's a spiritual advisor? Is a preacher not a spiritual advisor? Hello? Some of you may be called to become a spiritual advisor, a healer, or anything in your coat. Because I was getting it. I said right there, they don't outside the church, but they're being called in. That's what I think the spiritual advisor is. I might be wrong, but I, I do. I think a, a, a preacher could be a spiritual advisor. It's a spirituality. It show tarot cards, but take it how it resonates. This is somebody calling. Motivator. Angelic help. I say, spirit is opening these doors. And then this spirituality right here. Trans okay, this card is a good indicator that things will start to move rather quickly. Some of you guys might have to travel for this. Did I say you might have to go around the world? I don't know, but you might have to. You might be a traveling speaker. A motivational speaker. They be all over the place. People be calling, hey, can you come over here and speak? You know, you might have a full planner. Might be in this city for three days. And then next thing you know, you're all the way over here for three days. But for some of y'all, this is international. Because with that angelic help, when the most high God do, they do it right. Hello? Teacher at the bottom of the deck. Spirit, talk to these people today. Okay? You have the ability. Some of you guys have the ability to motivate others to strive and uncover their true potential. Consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. Yes. Eerie. Motivation. Motivator. Motivational. Y'all might be a motivational speaker. I don't know. A new job of some kind. Because then I say on this past and future card, I say it's different from what you did in the past. But it's your future, child. Mm, mm, mm. Man, that's what's up. That is what's up. Let's get you guys some um some affirmations, and then we're gonna close this thing out. And it says your dependable and loyal nature will be rewarded soon. Keep at it. You see how she's dressed right here? Um, when I was in the house earlier, I was watching YouTube, and I, th I don't know if it's a new show or a new movie, but Jada Pinkett is in it, and she had on this old-fashioned dress, an old-fashioned blouse and an old-fashioned dress. And everybody was telling her, uh-uh, you need to change, blah, blah, blah. That's just what I got right there. So maybe somebody thinks you dress out, out of date or I don't know. But this book that she's teaching from, it's like, um, you, could be, you, you, you could teach Bible study, child. I don't know. Some of you could be teaching math. Let's get some affirmations. I love this reading for y'all earth signs. I do. I really do. Miracles. Get rid of that fear. Okay? And the only reason you have any setbacks is because they're going to make it so uncomfortable to you do what you need to do. And by they, that's the angelic help. And why spirit like, just surrender control. You don't know what I'm trying to bring in for you. And you sitting up here trying to control it. There's a career. I said that at the beginning. There's a difference between a career and a job. There's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive and believe. There's, okay. Just right quick. I just got there right quick. 
that a judge is doing something with the community, they're going to do something. And I've gotten this before, but I just got that right quick. I don't know what that means. It's kind of like with this motivated, this dude, remember I said this remind me of like an ex-gang member. It's kind of like instead of putting that person in jail, this person is now taking their life experiences. And maybe they're talking to a room full of teenagers. Because right when you hit high school is when you either go left or right. You know what I'm saying? The peer pressure. So I don't know. That's, that's not going to be for a lot of you because I just got it real quick. So, Spirit, what are the affirmations for my earth signs? Please and thank you. I'm going to take this one. Wow. I am open and receptive to all of the wealth that life has to offer. Now, there's a seven on there. That's about seeing things from a higher perspective. Also, seven is very biblical number. Y'all look it up and tell me in the comments. Because that's what somebody doing. You may, you know, remember I said that big building could be a mega church. You might have your own little segment or... I don't know. It's literally going to be different for everybody, child. But it's coming. A new job of some kind is coming your way. Okay, let's get some more affirmations. I am open and receptive to all of the wealth that life has to offer. And I am free to fully be myself in this moment. Wherever you are going, it will allow for you to be your true authentic self. There's a five on there, so I do feel like you went through some changes surrounding the heart. You may have even had a heart chakra awakening. Something painful could happen in your life. 37, 37 on the phone. But you better take that pain and turn it into power and possibly help other people with that. There's a door opening for you. Just like that right there. Everything that happened in my reading is relevant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm, I'm just checking on you. I'm going to you, okay? Mm -hmm. Some of you guys could be a Capricorn. This is my Earth Signs reading, Capricorn Taurus Virgo. My son's Capricorn just came and opened that door. There's a door opening for you. You gotta believe. You gotta believe. That's what the cards say. This is the time to trust in the universe and know that you will be provided for. There's a career or a blessing lining up for you. Stay positive and believe. And pay attention to the signs that your angels are sending you during this time. Okay. Let's get one more, one more, one more. Or whatever you want to give us. Whatever you want to give us. For these people. I make smart decisions for myself. I feel like this is surrounding partnership with these two partnerships of all kind. Because, right, this card says the people you spend the most time with shape who you are. So you kind of want to be mindful of who you choose to spend your time with. Not that you think you're better than or none of that. But, you know, just make more smart decisions for yourself. Uh, no. Just make smart decisions for yourself. Because sometimes when we make a decision, we might not think about, ooh, how's that going to look five years from now? But you might need to have that mind frame. Okay, you might need to have that mind frame. How's that going to look? And all that I do and say, I choose peace. Okay. Wow, y'all. I love y'all reading. Yes, baby. That's what's up. I like when them positive readings come through here. Mm. All right, 
Spirit. Let's close this thing out for my beautiful earth signs. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo in the building. Spirit. What's going on? Thank you, Spirit. I just want to thank you. Entrepreneur. Mm. So I think these speakers and motivators and things like that, I think they're, they're entrepreneurs. But uh, self-employment suits your disposition and intentions. Working for yourself allows you to better follow your intuition and divine guidance. We are your co-workers and teammates who remain loyal by, and by your, who remain loyal by your side to ensure your success in all ways. So when you think about, because I'm really getting that really strong for somebody. When you think about a preacher, they work hand in hand with the most high. Okay, they really do. Now, the bigger the church, I'm sure they have advisors and all of that. But when they're up there, it's them and the most high. And that's what I'm getting with this. We are your co-workers and teammates. Okay. And see all the mountains right there, them obstacles. Somebody might not overcome a lot. So whatever you're stepping into, whether it be teaching, motivating, you're going to have a way to bring in your life um, experiences. And you're going to be helping people. Because there's a skill you possess that needs to be shared with the world. And you may not have figured that out yet. Sometimes it takes somebody on the outside to come to point to you. You may not have figured out what that was. Because that could be that eight of swords. Right? That setback. Your attempts to increase your income have been largely unsuccessful. Because you're not. But they opening that door. This is beautiful, man. It's coming. Believe, baby, believe. The bottom of the day, manifestation power. Some of y'all have spiritual gifts. Use your spiritual gifts and natural abilities to attract your desired outcome. It's coming, boo-boo. Some of you, with this relationship, it says your primary relationship is with yourself and God. I was just saying when the preachers is up there, it's them in the most high. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all could have partners with this. Some of y'all would just be you and the divine. Take it how it resonates. There's a new job on the horizons. Yeah. Comfort, baby. About the end of the most comfort period of your life. And with that miracle, some of y'all might even be in disbelief. Like, how in the world? Mm, question. And you can't tell the divine how to bring it in. You just got to be... Open and receptive. Did we see one of them cards? I'm open and receptive to all of the wealth that life has to offer. This card even said blessings and showering your life, child. Rainbow of blessings. So, wow. Okay, that is what I have for my earth signs. I love y'all from the bottom of my feet. Okay? Till next time. Bye.